patients. We're committed to doing all we can to help. Scotland is on the doorstep of the largest market for steel in the whole of Europe, the North Sea. If Scotland can't have its own steel industry, then no other country in Europe. How on earth can we trust their commitment to Scotland? I, Nicola Ferguson Sturgeon. I, Nicola Ferguson Sturgeon. If I'm elected deputy leader uh, with a leader at Westminster then that obviously involves leading uh, the Scottish parliamentary group and that's a huge challenge but a job I believe I can do well. Annual review of any health board is a very important part of the that the two suspected cases of swine flu in Scotland have been confirmed as positive. Uh, I am pleased to say that both individuals are recovering at well in hospital. This is not just a, a victory for a single political party, I believe it's a victory for a society, a people and a nation. I think this is going to be a year when the focus is very much on what Scotland can do, what we can achieve. As leader, my time is, uh, is nearly over. But for Scotland, the campaign continues and the dream shall never die. I'm told there are 12,000 of you in here today. So let me hear you, all 12,000. My message is very clear, now is not the time. Something we can't see is claiming so many lives amongst us. But the point I want to stress, as I always do, is that none of us are powerless. All of us have some control here. By following the rules, by staying home, by self-isolating when we have symptoms, all of us can help to reduce the number of deaths. The motion is therefore agreed and the Gender Recognition Reform Scotland Bill is passed. The next... We'll suspend business. And it is our assessment that the bill would have a serious adverse impact, among other things, on the operation of the Equality Act 2010.